Hello everyone, so we've been wandering around Portland all morning and now it's time for lunch. We're basically basically at the corner of 5th and Taylor in downtown Portland and we're at a place called the Veggie Grill. It's kind of like uh, native foods I think and we're gonna either get uh, banh mi or maybe they have some street, street corn. It's basically uh, corn on the cob with uh, like mayo and a bunch of other stuff on top of it. Um, so, or maybe something entirely different, we'll see. Anyway, check out the menu and see. I'm still thinking about the, the uh, banh mi or, or the corn. Actually, here's, here's a picture of the corn. I'm taking a picture of a picture. Let's see if we can get rid of those reflection. Ah, there it is. So, and then they have uh, some strawberry lemonade stuff. It looks pretty good, so we'll probably end up having that. Let's see if we can focus. There we go. And maybe, maybe a zoom. So, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. And then it's off to the rose garden, and off to the rose garden, and uh, the Japanese garden, and. I'm not stopping at Voodoo Donut. I'll show a picture of that. That's crazy. There's a line like 30 people deep to get into the place. And then I don't know how long it takes once you're in there. And then we were going to stop at Sizzle Pie. I think is what it's called. It's a pizza place that has some vegan slices and whatnot. So we'll probably get a slice there and then we're going to head back to the back to the motel for a bit. And here's Lisa. She's got our food delivered. We'd end up getting a uh, BTLA, bacon, or BTL, BO, what is it? Yeah, BTLA, bacon, tomato, lettuce, and avocado with a side of fries. And I'm not able to turn it because you see she's taking pictures of it. I've already taken my pictures of it. Now I'm going to turn it. So, you can see the Bacon, tomato, avocado, lettuce. Oh, yum. Sides. There we go. Thank you. We had asked for some uh, mayo. What is it? Um, Chipotle. Chipotle mayo. Yeah. So, where was it? I don't remember what the hell it was. Chipotle ranch. Yeah. All right. So anyway, that's that. I'm going to get off this so I can eat before Lisa eats it all on me. Apparently this is a popular place. We came in here, it was empty, and now Lunch Rush came through and look at this. It's a full house. So well, we're on our way over to uh, the Rose Garden and we happened upon this place called the Boise Fry Company. And basically for five bucks you get this massive bowl of fries they have. And they do have veggie burgers and whatnot as well. Um, but we didn't go for that since we just ate at the other place. But we did go for a large bowl of fries. These are purple fries. And then when we're done with this, if we don't get sidetracked by another place, we will head over to the Rose Garden. And then All right, we made it to the uh, Portland Rose Garden here. Uh, next up is going to be the Japanese gardens. It took us about six hours to get here, but that's because we had to eat a couple times and uh, check out check out Portland. Um, and so we've been just wandering around. Popped by Voodoo Donuts. That was a crazy mess. Like 30 people in line waiting for probably upwards of an hour to get through that line just to get some damn donuts. So I wasn't about to do that. Um, the veggie grill turned out really good. I was surprised how how empty it was when we got there, but then it's like it clicked noon and boom, the place just exploded. There was the like every table was full. Um, I suppose you already saw that in this video. Hmm. Oh well, that's all right. You get to hear about it again. So that's pretty cool. There's lots and lots of roses here. Been fun. We got these uh, these DSLR cameras and and you get a lot of practice being in the shade and in the sun and whatever, setting things up to, to get the right exposure and whatnot, so. Um, yeah, so it's cool. You guys 
over at the uh, Japanese gardens. Hi. All right, we just uh, entered the Japanese garden here, and we got up here, and there's a sign up that said that it closes at four, noon to four on Monday. What the hell? Luckily, there was a Japanese guy standing there who was looking at the thing too, and goes, "Those are winter hours." So apparently, I can't speak or read English very well, but. So they're open until 7 actually. So we're gonna head in and take some pictures, maybe some video. Lisa's taking pictures of me currently walking up the hill. So, anyway, we're gonna do this and then, and then we're gonna head back to the motel and. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Here we are on the trail to Shangri-La. So we're inside the Japanese garden now here at the uh, Portland Park. And it's kind of funny, I got to a point just, just a little ways inside and I thought the thing just wrapped around. I'm like, really? It's just, it looked like it was just like around one little building. But then there's another path that you're supposed to. Apparently everyone but me could figure out <laughs> where to go. So. See, this is what happens in Portland. You're walking along the street and you see a sign that says vegan pizza. That doesn't happen in Minneapolis. All right, so we went to Voodoo Donuts and looks like at around 4.30, there's nobody in line. We got to stand there and kind of lollygag and look at the donuts and kind of pick and choose what we were gonna have. And so it was a good thing. So I'm glad we uh, waited and came back. We ended up getting these three donuts. This one was like a chocolate cream filled thing with peanut butter and peanuts on top. And this one is a chocolate cake donut with chocolate on top and then a raised donut with chocolate and nuts on top of it. And they ended up giving us this one for free, the uh, chocolate cake one. So not quite sure why, she must have liked me or something. <laughs> oh, one can dream. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and eat these, and then we're gonna head over to this pizza place called Sizzle Pie for a for a slice, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, Lisa's in looking for a bathroom key, so I gotta wait for. Her. All right, hopefully we can hear over the music in here. We're at a place called Sizzle Pie. And they have a slogan of "Death to Pulse Pizza." They also have vegan slices available pretty much all the time, apparently. Usually have three pies that are vegan. And... Yeah. That's what it is. So we're here getting a couple slices of the Buffalo 666, which is uh, a day of cheese and uh, jackfruit and what is it? And uh, jackfruit, red onion, this is vegan ranch and wing sauce, top of green onion. So, that's what we're having for a snack here now, and then, oh, there's our number. So here's our pizza. Just a couple slices to give it a try and see how good it is. And to take a few pictures, so. We're here at the herbivore. It's uh, another one of the stores at the uh, vegan mall here in Portland, Oregon. And they have a whole bunch of vegan t-shirts. What these are, uh, magnets. Just a minute, I'm gonna get one of these. And they've got some wallets and things. I actually bought one of those. And in case you cook, like you should. You can get a deal that says eat like you give a damn. And then one of the belts that I bought was back here. Which is something they actually put together. They used some uh, microfiber material they got from Italy and cut it and sewed it here in town and then they assembled, did the final assembly themselves. So kind of neat.
I did do the apron, yes. And then a whole bunch of stickers at a dollar each. And all the books. And there's also some soaps and stuff in the back. Cards. Like little cards you mail people. Oh, postcards. No, no, no. They're like little cards with little things. I don't know, you mail them in little envelopes. You know, the old fashioned way. You mean like email? <laughs> Alright.